One day, I was just chilling watching my favorite show as usual, and a random thought came to me. Imagine being able to create your own VR headset, and being able to show it off to all your friends. Yeah, that might be a problem. Although, I have no clue how to make a VR headset. I'm not like a master builder or anything. The only building skills I have is really like maybe a gingerbread yes. house. That's it. But I'm thinking the VR will be something similar to a Google Cardboard. And my goal is to actually play Gorilla Tag on this headset. So I ran to my trash can and dug out some old cardboard boxes. And by cardboard, I mean pizza boxes pizza okay there was like nothing left and before we start building this headset i need to sketch a design because all builders have some type of blueprint i began creating probably one of the best sketches you have ever seen i spent a whole entire minute on this thing and here it is just kidding that's the wrong one this is mine okay i like it picasso so in order for this vr headset to work we need some type of screen no, not that type of screen, more like a phone. Next, we need to find the dimensions of the phone so we know how big the headset should be. Now, let's start building this thing. I started out by tracing the phone on a piece of cardboard, and then I gave it a black outline. I then began cutting the cardboard so I could start on the body. And at the beginning, I said I wasn't that good at this, but I'm actually getting pretty used to it. Like, I should go get a job at Home Depot. Bruh. Next, I started building the body and most of the headset, including the straps made out of pizza boxes and the eye holes, which are made out of tape, by the way. I know, it's super durable. Once all that was done, I added a few finishing touches and boom, the headset was done. But before we continue, I need to give this headset a name. How about Tsuk Adam? Which you're probably wondering what that means. And it's just MetaQuest backwards. Meta, please, please don't sue me. I'm sorry. But once I finished with the build, I realized something. How am I going to play Gorilla Tag on a headset that doesn't have Gorilla Tag? All those precious minutes drawing the sketch and creating the headset just to be gone out of the window. But no, I wasn't going to stop there because I knew if this video goes viral, I will have enough money to buy this Gorilla Tag shirt, which is so stupid. Like who wants that? So since I couldn't play Gorilla Tag, what will I do? I had a solution to this problem. If I casted my gameplay to my phone, I could then see what's going on the quest. Then if I attach my headset to the back of my chair, it would be standing up, making it so the gorilla doesn't look like this. And then add some control controllers and boom we have a working cardboard headset let's go but that's not all i still have one objective which is to tag a player in a public lobby and when i say this was difficult it was because this is what i was seeing through the headset it was just kind of like a blob of blur i just kind of sat there waving my arms around for 10 minutes but then after trying and trying there was no luck so i hopped on the main headset and told everyone what i was doing they decided to help me out in the next round i got a tag so shout out to those guys and i'm gonna say that's a w i might even be the first person to do this on a custom headset but now that we're finished we need to rate the headset durability i think there's only one way to test this yeah that's like a zero out of ten next design M maybe we should have done this one before durability finally the discount i mean i literally made this headset out of nothing everything in it was completely free so I'm gonna have to give that a 10 out of 10. 